Well, politics is uh, often a dirty business. Let's get ready to rumble! Joe in Langley, good morning. Good morning. It's good good to hear from you guys. I, I'm following the race in Coquitlam between Mayor Stewart and some bully who's making fun of Mayor Stewart's inability to sit for hours on end. You see, Bill, we both know that a certain quarterback by the name of Elise Mills is down there, and I just wonder, is Coop, Keith, is Coop down there because Elise is down there? They want to sack the best quarterback ever or whatever the story is. Because I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not getting your reference at all to Elise Mills. Oh, Monday morning quarterback? You had her on this Monday. Oh, okay, yeah, I had her on because Norman Spector was not available. Oh, sorry, but what I mean to say is, you know, isn't Cupe and some of these attacks just over the top, especially Barry Lynch's attack on Mayor Stewart because he can't sit down thanks to a car wreck? Well, he's, got a very, he's got a very bad back. I don't know why anybody could attack him for that. You know, I've, I've seen references to that. Uh, I'm not sure what what that's all about with Barry Lynch, but uh, according to the Vancouver Sun today, the QP has uh, launched, or Richard Stewart is accusing QP of uh, uh, ganging up on him at, at the municipal level in terms of running for mayor, and Barry Lynch is, I guess, supported by QP. But QP has been involved in municipal elections since day one. I mean, when they want to get involved, they get involved, and they can control who, oftentimes, the makeup of city councils, if not who sits in the mayor. Or the, uh, chair. They, they strongly support uh, Gregor Robertson and the uh, the Vision Cope team in Vancouver, as is, the, as, is, as is the Vancouver and District Labor Council. Yep, yeah. and that's, uh, I mean, these endorsements, these endorsements count on one level. They also count in terms of supplying volunteers and uh, donations. And that's, uh, at the end of the day, turnout rules who, who wins in these, uh, in these elections because it is a low turnout, and QP can muster a lot of bodies at a time when they need them. And probably a lot of voters. So if you have, if you have the unions, if you have QP, and you have the bus drivers, and you have the firefighters, for the most part, uh, supporting Vision and Cope, you have to assume that they think that uh, those are the candidates, that are, those are the parties that are going to uh, be most friendly to the unions. And, and you also see fire, the firefighters union uh, and, and uh, police unions also play a role in municipal elections. And, and uh, mayors of all stripes eagerly await the endorsement of unions like that. Uh, just referring back to a couple of calls ago, Elise Mills has uh, tweeted to me that, uh, uh, just to clarify, Mayor Stewart isn't responding to the union. He's responding to negative comments on his disability. So I just throw that out for what it's worth. All right. Well, it's um, I, I'm not, again. I'm not clear what uh, Barry Lynch is uh, supposedly has said, but I know when Richard Stewart was over here as an MLA, he has a very, very uh, bad back problem. And well, he was uh, he not in an accident he, he caused down. by a drunk driver several years ago, and then he just had it compounded this week or last when he was out uh, uh, door knocking and uh, and yeah. he was hit by a car. Yeah, he was run down. He spent two days in the hospital, but he, and uh, and he's very lucky, in fact, not to have another serious he, injury. He's also quoted in the Vancouver Sun today as saying, there's a union machine against us, Stewart said Thursday. In a community that hasn't had slate politics, it's quite disconcerting. Now, though, to Coquitlam Mayor Richard Stewart. Mr. Stewart, good morning. Good morning. You were wanting to comment. I do, actually, because uh, there, there is some, mis uh, some confusion this morning about uh, uh, comments made by uh, my opponent against me. And we've never had an issue with the union, uh, because actually I'm a 20-year QP member. Uh, so that when QP made its decision to endorse my opponent, that's, that's perfectly fine. There's a whole bunch of QP members, actually, that are now working on my campaign because they're furious with my opponent because of his attack on, on my disability. The, the attack is essentially that I can't. If I can't sit for the whole 12 hours of back-to-back -back meetings on a council Monday, um, how do I expect to be mayor? Uh, you know, you have to be able to sit to chair the meeting. So sometimes I do hand the chair off to a, uh, an acting mayor, uh, one of the councillors, and they're all pleased to do that. And uh, every single one of them except for Barry accepts that limitation because it's such a, a minor accommodation. Um, and he has gone on and on about uh, this, you know, you have to be able-bodied in order to do this properly uh, if, if you can't chair a meeting um, I wonder if he's ever heard of Sam Sullivan. Well, and, and it's and it's, lots of people have phoned him and said that, and I know people that have written him, and he's responded along the same lines that uh, really it's uh, it, it, this limitation. From my perspective, it shouldn't have been part of the, the the campaign. It shouldn't have been part of the the issues in a campaign. 
in a community that has lots, lots of things to talk about. We've got some exciting things about the Evergreen Line, and we've accomplished wonderful stuff. And why on earth are we talking about my disability? Is, Richard, is he, is he, did he say this once, or is this a continued criticism of him? No, it, it, this is in, this is in uh, and it's all veiled. This is in the ads he, he takes. Uh, the mayor should be at the helm during meetings. Uh, the uh, speeches at all candidates' meetings. So it, it has been a little bit frustrating that uh, we have focused so much attention on this one element, which really isn't an element. I mean, I think everybody, the voters of Coquitlam, the council members of Coquitlam, even QP, the union that endorses him, they've all said the same thing. This shouldn't be part of the campaign, and we don't know why it is. I yeah, appreciate your clarification. Six I've seen you standing alone And face the fight when others lay their weapons down and headed for home I've seen you face the fire and come out shining light.